So, what are the top three interview questions for Salesforce administrators? The first one is essentially about the customer relationship or CRM, customer relationship management capabilities of Salesforce. And one of the questions I found most interesting that uh, employers are asking more and more is, what is meant by the term expansion of CRM? Okay, now, to understand customer relationship management is critical to the success of your interview. And so when you're thinking about your customer relationship management answer in the interview, you're thinking about these four pieces down here. But before I get to them, let me talk a little bit about this piece right up here. Okay. So customer relationship management is an application which helps to automate or digitalize the marketing functions by using CRM software. So that's what we mean by the expansion. So if you can imagine CRM is based on the customer, the expansion is thinking about how we reach that customer. All right. So the software um, helps you to think about your increment profits and revenues and helps you strategize. So these are the key terms to use, right? Automation, digitalizing, strategy. And what I would highly recommend you do as well is think about the four CRM initiatives, acquisition, retention, churn, and win back. So when we're thinking about the sales pipeline in a customer relationship management tool, you will need to be able to describe what a CRM is. Secondly, describe how it works. In other words, you need to use words like leads, prospects, um, and, and terms such as that. But also, you would need to use these four terms, acquisition, retention, churn, and win back. And using those terms and really describing them will set you up really well for that question. Let's look at the next one. So there may be a question just to test your knowledge about what salesforce.com and force.com is. Um, but both are relatively the same, all right, but they have different functionality. So salesforce.com helps you build CRM functionality using apps, right, such as the iPhone app uh, and the like. However, force.com is used to customize the data model and user interface examples. So Salesforce helps you with the CRM functionality. Force.com helps you with the applications, right? The interface and how those, um, how those applications work, all right? Okay, and that's also very helpful for developers as well. So a trick question that might come up in your interview is how do you delete or freeze users in Salesforce, all right? Okay, so let's take a look. You cannot delete someone in Salesforce. You can imagine that someone uh, has had many customers and then they leave the organization. If you deleted those records, um, you would not be able to, in the future, know who uh, made those sales. So you can, can't actually delete. What you can do is change things like the permissions, you can freeze users, and you can use the setup, the administrators, the managed users, the users, and the freeze functions in Salesforce to um, limit uh, or essentially delete, but you would be able to undelete, right? To delete um, is a very permanent thing. Essentially what you're doing using these functions in setup, administrator, manage users, users, and then freeze, is you're essentially deleting the person without relegating them out of Salesforce. So in that case, you're able to actually undelete them and go back and see their information. So these are the top three questions and answers that are helpful for you as an administrator.